Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here today with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to be looking at a question asked by Nick, KC3PWJ. Okay, He says, I have about an acre lot, that's what I have here, and I got an IC7100. Now the IC7100 um, does both HF and UHF, VHF, and it's got a real small little control head that will sit here and it gives you your screen at an angle and um, you can put the main body somewhere else. So it's really good if you have very little um, room inside your station to put a radio. I have a portable vertical that I know isn't going to give me stellar results. I could probably do pretty good, but I until I can get it figured out, just want an easy foolproof way to get on the higher bands. Problem is there aren't many trees on my property. I have the identical same problem here. Uh, I have trees, but they're only 25 or 30 feet tall, and they won't support the end of an antenna. They're old, fully mature pinion pines. They're desert pine. Um, so I was considering using a couple poles near the shack to string up a 20 meter dipole or something like that. Uh, the poles in question are one, a flag pole that doesn't pose any problems. Well, it could very well be metal. Um, and two, the mass that my diamond disc cone is mounted on for VHF and UHF. My question is, do you foresee any issues that may come from having uh, one end of the dipole mounted so close to the disc cone? Uh, yes and no. I'm going to draw a little diagram here. Is there no problem? I would need to just unhook the disc cone from anything while using the dipole. I think on the 7100, don't you have two output connectors on the back? One for HF, one for VHF, UHF. And you've got your disc cone connected to the UHF, VHF. Or would the unterminated coax attach to the disc cone coming into the shack cause other problems? No. Uh, the 7100 is my first venture into HF, and so far I love the rig, but I'm itching to use it for what it was made for. Appreciate any insight, love the channel, thanks to 73 Nick, KC3PWJ. Okay, let's look at what he's got here. Uh, we've got a pole, which is a flag pole. Okay, he's got a flag pole. And of unspecified height and he has some sort of a pole over here on which he has his disc cone for UHF VHF okay and what he wants to do is hook a dipole between them okay will that work yes it will work now uh, let me um, the 20 meter dipole, the ideal height is 33 feet, half wave, that's a half wave, one and a half, lambda, okay, that's the ideal height above the ground and it doesn't sound like you've got that, that's okay, that's okay, put it up anyway. Now. My experience in modeling this situation, there's a video on it, an old one, where I model putting a dipole antenna and then metal masts. And even though the dipole is insulated from the masts, if you get the mast within three feet of the dipole, the mast starts becoming part of the antenna. Okay? Three feet is the magic number. So what you want to do up here is three feet of rope, three or more feet of rope, and then put that thing in there. Now if you, if you can only do two and a half, is that going to kill it? No. But don't worry about it. Um, you can, if you want, let the ends hang down a little bit like that. That will work too. Now there's another thing that you can use for poles. If you go down to Home Depot, I think they have the same thing at Lowe's. 
they have a chain link fence. They have all the parts and pieces for chain link fence. There's something called chain link fence top rail. And they come in about 10 foot sections. They're a little longer than 10 feet. And the nice thing about each section is it's tapered at the end so that it'll fit right into the next piece and be tapered at the end. Well now I have found that if you get two of these and you turn them vertically like that you'll need to put guys, rope guys, down here uh, 120 degrees apart so this is 120 degrees. Here's your stake, here's your guy, and so on. And you can guy it to anything, you can guy it to fence post. Uh, in fact, it's better if you've got trees around. Oh, you say you didn't have trees. Okay, uh, you'll have to put it down to post. By the way, if you're looking for good solid stakes, I'm not talking about the kind you find in the meat department at uh, King Supers, but Rather, if you're looking for two foot or three foot long metal stakes, those are sold by uh, Lowe's and Home Depot also. You have to get a salesman who knows what you're talking about. You say two foot stake or three foot stake. They're in the same area as the rebar and you can get um, rebar also cut in two foot and three foot lengths. I like the stakes that are smoother they're a little fatter, they're a little stronger, and when you want, I usually leave about this much sticking out so I can just kind of pull on it real hard and uh, pull the stake up if I want to move it to somewhere else. I keep a collection of these here if I want to put in an antenna, but that's an easy way to deal with that. So I hope that answers your question. Yes, put the dipole in. No, you don't have to disconnect the uh, discone antenna. Make sure everything is grounded. Follow all the, you know, the usual uh, precautions and procedures and you'll be in excellent shape. Okay, so there you have it. If you would like to support this channel financially, you may do so by going to decastlercom slash support and looking for ways there that uh, fit your... Um, mechanism that works best for you. And Patreon's probably a really good one. Uh, or you can just do a one time in the tip jar. Um, PayPal doesn't take too much off. Um, Patreon doesn't take too much off. I thought about going with YouTube memberships, but they take like a third off. That's too much. So, until we next meet, 73.